Hey there, everybody. It's me, Kay. Welcome back to some more Act Razor. Uh, we're back in Cassandora, even though we were on our way to Northwall because of this. It just happened, and I wanted to go catch it on camera. Uh, you'll get a message when you come back to Cassandora after a while uh, that they found something under the stone slab on the bird statue there, and it is, in fact, this, an ancient tablet. Mention something about a bird-shaped island. If this is given to people living on such an island, you may become enlightened. And we'll take that with us when we go visit Maranhas again. Maranha. Whatever this place is, I hate this place because the people here are stupid. Okay. Now, there's our bird-shaped island, and we've already blasted a hole in it with our lightning, uh, corresponding to exactly where, in fact, the, uh, the rock on the drawing is, which should tell you something. Let's go ahead and use that here. That island has to be here somewhere. Let us give the tablet to the people and see what will happen. Okay. Oh, Master, an ancient tablet has fallen from the sky. As instructed by this tablet, we shall investigate the bird-shaped island. Alright, so if these two are going to head onto the boat. They're going to go check out the island. They're going to come back. We're going to get something special for our trouble. It's kind of a little side quest. And we've already done all of uh, Marana here, you can see. It's all cleaned up nice. Let's just let this make its way over here. Come on. That little hitch happens because the day is resetting. If you're curious, you'll note when the hourglass fills up, everything will freeze slightly for just a second. That's because the town construction in progress stuff happens like so. Uh, but there's no town construction to happen anymore because Marana's done. It actually has a pretty low population cap compared to other places because of how small it is. But yeah, they went and investigated. If you don't destroy that, they'll complain about the thick foliage on the island and that they couldn't find anything. Uh, which, they'll keep trying though, so you can keep, keep watching them do this until you destroy that. In which case, they will find the item. They just found it. They're on their way back with the goods. They gotta get back to the temple so we can talk to them about it. And then I know it's unexpected, but they'll have something to say to us. Yeah. My master, we've discovered the master's magic on the island northeast of here. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. Yeah, sure, why not? Magical Aura. So this is a different spell. Uh, basically, it summons little orbs that rotate around you and damage enemies that hit them. It's not the Starfall spell, so I don't care about it. Uh, but it's okay. The other way that you could get that spell is if you gave the compass to the people of Marana, and then they would explore that island themselves. But since you can get it another way and the compass can go to Fillmore to get you an extra life, that's just way better than giving it to these people. So we're done with Marana, and we're now done with Cassandora as well. Itos fixed up real good. It's time to go to Northwall as the last place. Let's fight some monsters. We got tons of health. Population's nearly up to 4,000 people in the world. Uh, let's descend into the ring. Oh, I'm glad I have a statue in the snow. Yep. I love the music in Northwall. It's really solemn and pretty. Ow. Screw you too, bird. These guys throw axes. They're kind of an irritation, but they're not that bad. Gotta make your jumps carefully. Oh, oh, they shoot two. We purple now. Okay. Ooh. Watch it, watch it now. Screw it. Ha! Take that. Ow. And yeah, I do have more magic than usual because I got that as a reward from from uh, Itos finishing it. They give you a spell scroll or magic scroll or whatever. Ah, eyeball. He was un eyeball to survive that attack. Score. 
I like a big score bonus. That's good. Oh, right. This. This part's a little time-consuming. It has a very Sonic the Hedgehog 2 vibe to it with the riding things around. But it's worth it for that full heal. And you can just go down here. It's fine. You're a god. You don't care about water. You do actually have to make it, though, because you can't make the jump at the end without the platform to help you. Damn it. Come on. Come on back now. There we go. Crouch. Boy, that, that's, uh, I believe, an extra life. We'll find out. Yep. <laughs> we soon will discover what it was. It was an extra life. There's a spike there that will hurt you. Gotta watch out for that. No, oh, let's take extra life. Oh, yes, made it. Got him. Good. Let's go on. This is a very, like, SNES Final Fantasy era games soundtrack right here, and I really like the music in this area. And I gotta hit you right on this thing to make that jump. Best ways to just let it come to you on the upward slope like that. There's a small heal up here. And another one up, giving you the most possible lives I think you can have. Eight. I don't know if you can ever get more than that. Okay, let's ride. Oh, missed it. If you're standing on a slope that's sliding you down, you will be able to get on it automatically, and that's really handy. Okay, if you miss that jump, you die instantly, by the way. There's spikes down there. You have to psychically know that that's coming or have incredible reaction time, which... Yeah, I kind of dislike that, but at least it's not as bad as the one that's just designed to screw you over in the pyramid. Specifically designed to cost you a life. I'm sure Surge loves this stage because it's got ice music. And you know what I mean by ice music. Ah, oh, I missed that. I'm not going to be able to get to it in time. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Damn. Oh, well. It would have been an extra shot of magic. Not that I need it at all. What the hell with it? I'll just go up here. Ow. A lot of stuff in my way, isn't there? Oh, hey. Ow. Thankfully, they plant a full heal there. The game is really nice about that, and I appreciate how it handles, like, where its power-ups are placed. It does it with respect to the player, by and large, instead of just being an asshole like Dino Wars and Low G-Man and Ninja Gaiden usually do. Okay. So, we've got a boss here. It's this guy. I have no idea what his deal is. He is really, really inoffensive, though. Like, he's utterly a triviality. He would be hard without magic, but of course that's why we have magic now, isn't it? And he'll just fly into it and die there. I have no idea what he's supposed to be, but he's irrelevant, because he's dead now. Alright, we're clear of Northwall Act 1. It's time to do the last sim section of the game, and then finish up Northwall, and we will have liberated the whole world from... Archdemon Tendrak, or whatever the hell his name was. I can't remember. Bet you can guess what we have to do here. Northwall may became a land where people can live in peace. Good. Okay, let's talk to our Northwallians. Oh, Master, our land Northwall is covered with snow. Please use the warmth of the sun to melt the snow. We long to see the green of the plateau. Okay. I can do that. That's that's fine. No problem there. Yep. Zap. Now, this stage is actually kind of rough. Just because they throw everything in the kitchen sink at you here, and you're going to have to be careful. Because you can get beat up pretty fast here. That's a, uh... If I'm not mistaken, that is a red demon one. Okay, so the 
Skull heads are over there. There's a second skull head spawner right there. Yeah, it's it's a mess. This place is just lousy, man. The North Wall is not a nice neighborhood at all. It's not a nice neighborhood. I like that. We'll soon deal with all of their crap, though. And skull heads hurt like the Dickens when they touch you, by the way. They will easily crush you. There's a reason you don't go to North Wall until last. You can, but you'll suffer. It's like you can go to North Wall as early as going to Bloodpool, I think. Fillmore's the only place that's, like, non-optional order, if I recall. To do, like, the whole way through, at least. I keep zapping stuff. I think enemies deal damage to you proportionate to how many shots it takes to kill them. Because they take three and they deal three. I believe these guys deal four, so that might be the case. Which means that the skull heads deal eight. So, yeah, you don't want that. That's not going to be good for you. That's not going to make you happy. It's not going to make you feel good. You're going to have a real bad time with that. Oh, God, he's on the move. Whoa, okay. Oh, bye. Okay, that was good. Uh, we're gonna... Sunlight that place the hell up. Because that's where his spawner is. Okay, you know what is kind of called for here? There. This is why I save all the bombs. This is the only place where they're remotely justifiable in value. For what you get out of them. Uh, by the way, there's our end stage. Is that tree... Bombs also, they don't seem to come back, like, quite instantly after getting bombed. But they come back pretty darn quick, and I don't appreciate that. Well, we got bombs, so let's we'll just keep, keep firing, assholes. Okay, it's time to make a beeline for something to kind of slow down the tide here. There. Let's get them moving towards that. Town is under construction. Good. I'm glad of it. Oh my god, no. Okay, that's it's time for another bomb. That's our last bomb. It's not really worth going looking for any extras that we might have had stored away in people's shrines. But, uh... They were useful while I had them. Now I'm gonna start popping Strength of Angels. It's like one shot the demon, guys. The skulls take two. Ow. Oh yeah, as you can see, that sucks immensely. It's just bad for everybody involved that you get hit by that. Okay, North Wall wants to talk. Cold here is so harsh that people are unable to live with ordinary clothing. Oh, Master, do you have any material with which we could make warmer clothing? I do, I have fleece. Thanks to uh, liberating Old Navy or wherever. Itos, that was the place that had the fleece. Sheep's fleece. People of the North Wall will feel warmer now. Good. That's the end of you, buddy. Someone found something in the lair. Sweet, it's another bomb. I'll take it. Since I have to go get wheat anyway, I am going to actually go on bomb tour once this runs out. Sunlight some people over here. There we go. Just gotta keep those skull heads at bay. They're really the biggest problem for you. Just keep them, keep them down, keep them dying, keep them dead, and you'll be happy. Let's thaw out the tree. Oh, that doesn't thaw the tree out. Okay. Ah. Uh, Warm that up. Shoot. Oh, people in Northwall got something to say. I think I see the semblance of a lake underneath all the ice. We plan to operate a fishery here in Northwall. Thank you, my master. The people can now live here in peace. Well, not really. Uh, did you not notice the giant, like, skyscraper-sized skulls that fly around? That's not really living in peace, guys. That's living in death. This is some, like, underdark shit going on here. You don't need that. You don't want that, I promise you. 
I'm, I'm gonna take care of it for you guys. Okay, okay, we just gotta keep it coming. We're good, everything's good. Time for bomb. Bomb! Bye. Okay, let's sunlight some more here. Die. Building. If they can just take that out, I'll be real pleased, and then I'll go grab some more stuff to finish off the map. Please take out that skull head. I don't want two skull head spawners. Skull head spawners are bad. Two is worse. Okay, my power is gone. But the monster lair is gone too, so the skull head there is toast. So we found something. Is it a bomb? No, it's a power of angels. Sweet. I'll certainly take that. Oh, Master, we now understand how to build bridges. We can begin building homes over the river. Great. We're gonna do that very shortly. Okay, I gotta go grab some wheat. North Wall can take care of itself for a few years while I do this. I need to grab two wheat out of blood pool here because I let them build two farms, which means I need more wheat. Wheat. Okay, and I think there's a weapon in Cassandora, Power of Angel or something. It's probably worth having. There had to be something else in Cassandora. I remember not taking something with me. Yeah, Strength of Angels. Sweet. Okay, so we're all out of bombs. We got three Strength of Angels. That should be plenty. Let's go plant our wheat back in North Wall. We've thawed the damn place out. Okay, let's go. You guys have a Strength of Angel as well? Okay. We got three Strength of Angels. Perfect. Let's wheat you up. Wheat you. Like I'm Will Wheat. Alright, Strength of Angel. Now we should be able to deal with Skullhead and his friend, the Blue Dragon, here. Okay, so let's set a building direction here. There we go. Keep the skull head population down. Oh, hey, the scroll is found at the bottom of the cold lake. I present to you as an offering. Sweet. Okay, that's our final spell, I believe. Did you know that there's a large new tree growing northeast of here? The other day, two of us went to the mighty tree. At the trunk of the tree, we found something very interesting. There were two initials carved in the tree. These initials prove that people inhabited this land a few thousand years a few thousands years ago. We also discovered a scroll hidden near the trunk of the tree. Please accept it. Oh yes, I, I will absolutely accept your offerings. Thank you. Uh, I want that source of magic and magical light. This is the last spell in the game. It's pretty good. It just uh, blasts everything on either side of you, top to bottom. It it cleans the screen off basically, but it doesn't have the capability of hitting the boss like a billion times like my stars do, so we're gonna be sticking with them. Because I know what I like, and what I like is that crazy stardust magic. Okay, we're done with blue dragons. Let's just get these guys hightail it over here, please. And this is why I stockpiled bombs and Power of Angels, so that I'm not shooting eight times for every one of these jerks to show up. Why did you build that bridge there? What did it accomplish? What did you get out of that? Like, I can't thaw this out, dude. You just built a bridge for no reason. You built a bridge up against the side of a mountain. Good job, you jerks. That, that's just terrible. Oh, my power's no more. You don't have anything else, do you? That's right. Okay, I need to use, not... Take. Okay, I have a strength of angel, please. Keep skull heads at bay while we wait for them to seal skull head away for good. Come 
on, we're close. I just don't want to not have Power of Angel for these stupid things. They're so, so dangerous and annoying without it. Hey, my level 16, my HP are 23. 4,600 is the last population mark, I believe. I don't think it goes past that. It might go to one more and get me to 25 health, I'm not sure. Oh, we're done. Monsters appeared from the mighty tree. The mighty old tree is our symbol of Northwall. Simply gazing upon it stirs the emotions within us. Oh, master, please save our symbol of Northwall. Come down and drive the monsters away. Yeah, we can do that. That's cool. Can I actually melt? Uh, that, it's like frozen marsh, but... I, well, that was good. Let me just bake my dudes. Well, they're warm now, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, that doesn't do anything. So why did they build the bridge here? Explain this to me. Can I zap this? No. Okay. Oh, well, we're gonna go down then. Let's... Let's go into the tree now for our last destination. As you can see, magical R, magical light. We're taking Stardust because the boss is very weak to it. You'll never see the other two. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just not going to bother. There is one really good spell in this game, and its name is Magical Stardust. I am a pretty, pretty moon princess. I do not care about the other spells. All right. This place has awesome music, too. And, yeah, I'm glad that they planted a statue inside this living tree somehow. That was another one of those, like, what the hell is the statue doing here things. How is he blocking me? He's facing the wrong way. It makes no damn sense. Die, wiggle worm. That's a tougher one of those frost giant guys. They have, uh, they throw like underhand axes and overhand and they take an extra hit. Other than that, they're nothing. I've got so much health that I'm just gonna power right through here. I believe my destination is always up in this tree, because it's at the top of it that the boss lives. There we go. Ow, hey. Eyeball. I was un eyeball to avoid that attack. I don't know what that was. I think it was uh, magic, maybe? Not sure. Don't care. It's fine. I just want out of this place as fast as humanly possible. Oh, there. I just want to make it to the next screen so that when I die, I'll be... Oh, nope, not quite. That's okay. I'm starting from here with full health, though. I kind of cheese this last level because it's really long if you take it slow and careful. There, got him. Whoa, easy there, Chief. Don't just plummet to the bottom on me, please. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. Score is good. Okay. If you time it just right, you'll duck under that attack, by the way. The axe lob. But I don't much care. Oh, I managed to duck that one. That was perfect. Yeah, that was an extra magic power, I believe. Ow. What is over here, anyway? I cannot for the life of me remember. There's nothing here. There's just a drop-off for when you get that later. Okay. Well, that was an easy one. That worked out nicely, didn't it? Ow. Eyeball. Come on. Quit. Just lobbing thing. There we go. Get the eyeball. Ow. Okay, 
Well, we got score. That's not what I want. I know you got something good for me in here somewhere. There it is. That's what I want. Yes. Thank you. Be on my way now. Bye bye, Mr. Axe Troll. I will access this part of the stage later. I love the very curiously specific birds that fly through the bird holes in the tree to drop a worm and then leave through them. Okay, this part's a little annoying, but it's certainly original. You gotta ride these bubbles. I don't know where they're coming from, mind you, but you've gotta ride them up the tree. Green ones will take you a long way. Blue ones, not so much. Oh. There we go. I will be really deeply happy if I make it through here in one go. Gotta jump to that one then, and then right up from here. There we go. The yellow ones will pop and hurt you badly. We don't want that, do we? So, uh, we take them out quickly. Okay. This thing is incredibly irritating. For obvious reasons. Okay, there we go. We're clear, though. Alright, let's fight the boss. It's a giant snow dragon. It's pretty cool. <laughs> no pun intended, actually, that time. But I've got so much magic that I'm just gonna lay into this guy. And try to take advantage of that fact. Whenever he appears on that side of the screen is the time to really strike him. But I'm not squeamish about just blowing it right here, too, frankly. Yeah, that was a good good barrage there. I got two more shots, so let's make them happen. Save me some trouble. There we go. Ice Dragon down. North Wall is finished. I'm going to cultivate it to its maximum level off camera just for completion's sake. And we'll see you guys in the last episode right after a little bit of cutscene stuff here. Since it calculates all my goodies. There we go. Nice. Well, that's plenty of score, yeah. That's basically the whole level's worth of score anyway. Uh, and the final planetary butthole emerges. When you destroyed the final monster, the demon Tanzra's island emerged from the depths of the ocean northeast of here. Tanzra is underground waiting for his final battle with the master. All right, let's go, Sir Shaitel, to the haunted land, Deathheim. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time when we go to Deathheim. Bye for now, everybody.